Liverpool's pre-season under Arnie Slot has been perfection. Three games, three cities, three victories, one of them a resounding thumping of Manchester United. Zero injuries. Six goals scored, only one conceded. In fact, practically speaking, Arnie Slot's Liverpool career has got off to a flyer. There's obviously no room for complacency, and if you speak to any Liverpool fan, they will tell you that they are desperate to see some activity in the transfer market. But away from the transfer market, things for Liverpool are going really well. And Slot's methodology has been implemented perfectly by the players so far. We're learning, aren't we? We're learning who Arnie Slot is. We're learning what Arnie Slot's iteration of this Liverpool team is going to be. We're learning what this evolution of Liverpool is going to be. So watching these pre-season games are so exciting and so insightful. Now, listening to Slot speak, it's so different. I can't help but always think about Jurgen Klopp. And when I listen to Arnie Slot speak, it just feels so different. Slot speaks about patience. He speaks about killing the opposition by passes. Killing them with passes. It's so anti Jurgen Klopp. Taking this thing out of the game, making sure that you look after the ball, making sure that you make the correct pass, never taking any risks. Patience and kill the opposition with passes. That is the ideology of Arnie Slot. Possession. It's a possession based style. And he wants his team to have total control. Building out from the back, using that template of the boxed base system, where your two holding midfielders and your two central defenders play in a box and they dominate the centre of the pitch. Everything revolves around that box. That box, the two centre halves with the two holding midfielders in front, it's the anchor, it's the control room, it's where everything is dictated. That box maintains the entire shape of the team. That box creates the spine of the team. Those four players should always be available to receive the ball and at least one of those players should always be in space. Just before we go any further on this, could you do me a favor? Could you please click that subscriber button? If you are watching this video and you are not a subscriber, it would be my honor to welcome you into this community. So please do click subscribe. It also massively helps me out. So I would love it if right now you would click subscribe. Thank you so much. It's a well thought out, methodical and precise system that has served Arnie Slot so well in his previous jobs. Look back at any of his clubs, holding midfielders, centre halves, dominant both in each position. However, it is very different to what we've seen at Liverpool over the years. The modern day Liverpool, this is alien to the way that they've played the game over the past decade or so. <coughs> oh, caught me off guard, man. I didn't even know I was going to sneeze then. Oh. Stealthy says so sneeze like a ninja. I had absolutely no forewarning that that sneeze was coming. And do you know what? I know that football isn't about emotion anymore. It's sad the way that the game is going. And what I'm about to say, I think it's going to rile a few people. But I'm a little bit gutted. I found Jurgen Klopp refreshing. I found Jurgen Klopp brilliant for the Premier League. The Premier League was a richer, better, more cultural, exciting place because of Jurgen Klopp's contribution. Even when I didn't agree with him, I still liked having him in the league. Even when he was massively winding me up, he was still a benefit to the Premier League. And his approach to the game, the way that he viewed football, was totally in tune with the way that I see football. It chimed with me, the way that he wanted to attack teams, the way that he would talk about blitzkrieg football, attack and go 3-0 up after 15 minutes. Heavy metal football. It was brilliant. It was refreshing in the modern day game where football can be so stale, where football can be such a chore, where football can be so uninspiring, where teams seem to desire possession for no other reason than for possession. Possession for possession's sake, Klopp was a whirlwind and it was wonderful to have him in the league. Slot doesn't seem to be like that. He seems to be more a convert to the Guardiola style of football than he does the Jurgen Klopp. However, I must be fair and in various points this preseason, Arnie Slot's possession-based game has been enthralling beguiling and exciting to watch. And you can see exactly what he's working on in the training ground coming to fruition on the pitch when it most matters. It's a fascinating study. When you see a manager implement a very particular style, a very particular model on the training pitch, and you see that exact model replicated on the pitch in a friendly match against, say, Manchester United, it's amazing to witness. And that is the benefit of these open training sessions that we're seeing in the States. You can see Arnie Slot specifically crafting a goal. A goal that Costa Simicas, the Greek scouser, scored against Manchester United. That exact goal was a carbon copy of what Arnie Slot was working on on the training ground. In training, we see Arnie Slot spending a lot of time with his fullbacks, suggesting that the fullback's responsibility is to get to the byline and cut it back, ready for a forward player to bury into the back of the net. That is the responsibility of the team. When they are on the attack, they need to get to the byline. It can be a midfielder, 
but often it will be the fullback. The fullback's responsibility is to hit the byline and cut it back. We've seen it in training and we've seen it come to fruition against Manchester United. The goal was crafted by Arnie Slot. Arnie Slot deserves the acknowledgement. Arnie Slot deserves the assist. Arnie Slot deserves the adoration of the Liverpool fans who celebrated that goal. It was a goal that was built on the training ground. And it's interesting to see Slot on the training ground because he actually takes it passionately. He's in the middle of it all. He is the heartbeat of Liverpool at training. Whereas with Klopp, it wasn't like that. He was an observer. You know, Pep Linders would actually do the training. He would actually set up training. He was at the heart of everything Liverpool were doing in training. But with Arnie Slot, he is leading from the front. All training drills, all individual sessions with players, all games that were set up, it all came from Arnie Slot. Very different to Jurgen Klopp here. And from watching these sessions, we can see that he always has time for individual players, help to elevate the performances of individual players, help to make sure that each individual player is feeling at his best, is confident in what they're doing. And we actually saw in various training sessions that he spent a lot of time with Fabio Carvalho. You know, Carvalho last season was at Leipzig and Hull and it wasn't really going his way. Whereas Slot seems to have taken him under his wing a little bit, really spending time with him, telling him when to find the touchline, telling him when to cut inside, telling him when to play the ball into space, telling him when to play the ball into feet. He really was helping Fabio Carvalho specialise in this slot system. And that could be a great insight of things to come this season for Liverpool. And it's working. They won three out of three. They beat Betis, they beat Arsenal, and they spanked Manchester United. Now, of course, the result isn't everything when it comes to pre-season. And I think especially for Liverpool, it wouldn't be the main objective. The main objective would be making sure that the players are familiar with Arnie Slot's system, making sure that they're happy with his methods, making sure that the players are totally in tune and understanding what their responsibilities are on the pitch. But equally, if you're playing against Arsenal, Real Betis and Manchester United, particularly Manchester United and Arsenal, it's always good to beat them. You'd always rather win than not win, wouldn't you? So it can't be totally insignificant. We also got a bit of an insight into the system that Liverpool are going to play, the way that they are going to shape up. Remember, the season's about two weeks away. So the way that Liverpool are playing in this pre-season is certainly an indicator as to how they're going to line up when they start the season against who? Ipswich, right? <laughs> going to be huge. I think we have to forget the way that Liverpool lined up in their first game. Liverpool lined up with this rather odd 4-2-4 shape, but that was primarily because they had no centre-forwards available. Nobody could play the number nine. So, fair play to Slot here, he was pragmatic. He came up with a new system and a system that worked. Pragmatism. It's one of the most important assets that a manager can have. And in that moment, we saw that Arnie Slot has it. It's the antithesis of Postacoglu, for example. Plan A and only plan A. Arnie Slot here has revealed that he has a plan B. He has an answer when things aren't necessarily all going his way. So against Betis, they played that 4-2-4, but forget that now. Because when he's had his players available, we can see that Arnie Slot likes to line up with a 4-2-3-1. And the focus of the 4-2-3-1 is to get the fullbacks forward. Get the fullbacks stretching the pitch. Make the fullbacks the most dangerous players to the opposition. Make sure that your fullbacks are elite. And the fact that he's Liverpool manager, this is excellent because Liverpool's strength is their fullbacks. Bradley, Simakas, Robertson, Trent Alexander-Arnold, all fantastic, particularly fantastic, at playing this sort of game. Do you have an engine? Yes. Do you have the ability to put a cross in? Yes. Are you able to run the channels every single game, moment after moment? Yes. Do you have the fitness? Yes. Is one of your fullbacks the most energetic fullback in the league? Yes. Is another one of your fullbacks the most creative, arguably most creative footballer in the league? Yes. So Arnie Slot is playing to his strength. He is making his fullbacks invaluable. He is making his fullbacks indispensable to the team. And if this system works, Liverpool's fullbacks are going to have a huge season. Stretch the pitch, get crosses in, get to the byline, create chances. It really is all looking good for Liverpool. The only problem is that they haven't yet signed anyone. My dear friend Adi Oladipo, I'm sure a lot of you know from this channel, he's a massive Liverpool fan, obsessed with Liverpool, bangs on about Liverpool at all times. And he is really put out at the lack of transfer activity from Liverpool Football Club. Liverpool Football Club, in fact, are the only team in the Premier League yet to sign anyone. And that, for a club of Liverpool's size, a club of Liverpool's stature, a club of Liverpool's ambition, is, at least to Addy, totally unacceptable. I can literally read you a text here. The thing is raw, everyone is strengthening around us and we are being left standing, we call it. That is a text message to me from Addy about Liverpool's predicament in the transfer market. Another message. The only time we are ever discussed when it comes to transfers is when we are selling someone. 
I've had to omit a swear word there. And I guess that's true at the moment, but there is a long way to go. There are what, 20 days left of the transfer window. So there's still a long way to go and there's still a chance for Liverpool to put this right. The other thing is, nobody big has left Liverpool, which is equally important. Keeping hold of some of your best players is also an essential part of a good transfer window. Now, I don't know if I'm on my own here, but I really rate Joe Gomez. And the talk that Joe Gomez was potentially going to leave Liverpool to head up to Newcastle United, I thought that was a great signing for Newcastle and not good news for Liverpool at all. I think Gomez is excellent. And if you cast your mind back, what, two or three years? Do you remember that bromance he had with Virgil van Dijk? They were, at one point, the best defensive partnership in the Premier League. That is what Joe Gomez is capable of. So keeping him at the club is fantastic news for Arnie Slot. I think he could be a key player for them next season. And using him as some sort of make weight for Anthony Gordon. This isn't about Gordon, by the way. I rate Gordon incredibly highly. But to use Gomez as a make weight felt like a huge mistake. And keeping him at the club is great news for anyone who's a Liverpool fan. Like, he's been at the club nearly 10 years. He's Liverpool's longest serving player. And he is so versatile. Last season alone, he played in both fullback positions, played at centre half and even played as a number six. Now, you know, earlier in this video, when I was talking about the box midfield, the dominance that is needed in the centre of the pitch, Joe Gomez could be vital for that ideal to come into effect. More huge news for Liverpool is that Mohamed Salah has stayed a Liverpool player. There was a lot of talk that Salah was going to finally go to Saudi Arabia, but he has not. He is going to be playing and representing Liverpool in the Premier League next season, which means one thing, only one thing. Very few players can guarantee this, but he's one that can. Goals, goals and goals galore. Mohamed Salah is a Premier League great, and he has looked dazzling in this preseason. Now look, Arne Schlott wouldn't have been using this preseason to work out that Mohamed Salah is dazzling. The world and his wife knows quite how good Mohamed Salah is. But the fact that he's staying, the fact that he looks sharp, the fact that he looks up for it is wonderful news for Arnie Slot. And there were three players in particular that I think shone on this tour. Three players in particular who perhaps people weren't expecting to shine. Fabio Carvalho, we spoke about this earlier, but him over on the left, it's another new option for Arnie Slot and something that if it works, it's almost like a new signing. Jarrell Kwanzaa. He looked fantastic in the States. And I'm now wondering if Jarrell Kwanzaa and Virgil van Dijk could be the mainstay, main choice, first choice partnership for Arnie Slot. Considering how important we know the two centre halves are for Arnie Slot, the fact that there is so much cover and so many options in this position is wonderful news for Liverpool. But Kwanzaa, playing as well as he does, looking as assured as he does, being as confident as he is, this is another piece of excellent news for Arnie Slot. And it's rare at Liverpool. You know, we always think of the ability of Liverpool to churn out players. We always think of the brilliance of Steve Highway bringing players through that Liverpool youth setup. Scousers, Liverpool as a land, it's the most fertile land for producing footballers in the country, is what was once argued. Producing players of the excellence and brilliance of Jamie Carragher, churning out icons like Steven Gerrard. But, but, it's dried up. Since Steven Gerrard retired, only two Liverpool players have reached 100 games for Liverpool Football Club. Those two players are Trent Alexander-Arnold and Curtis Jones. I think that Jarrell Kwanzaa is going to follow in those footsteps. Jarrell Kwanzaa will make that number. Jarrell Kwanzaa will play 100 games for Liverpool. That is how good he is. So whilst there aren't new signings yet, Kwanzaa is a great option. Carvalho gives the manager something totally different. And Harvey Elliott, what a wonderful little footballer he is. He really is a classy footballer. And I think he's been unlucky at Liverpool because over the years, Liverpool have been so gifted in the position that Harvey Elliott would, under normal circumstances, occupy. So, for example, if Mohamed Salah wasn't so brilliant and Sadio Mane wasn't so brilliant, I think that Harvey Elliott would have played a lot of games for Liverpool as one of the front three. But he never really had that opportunity. And he therefore in fairness to him, had to reimagine himself. He had to redefine who he is. And he has done that perfectly. I think Harvey Elliott is going to have a huge season. Don't clip this. In fact, clip it. Harvey Elliott, trust me, Harvey Elliott is going to have a huge season for Liverpool Football Club. That is my left field shout for a player that is going to shine this season. Harvey Elliott. And also off the back of this pre-season tour, we can see that there is huge strength in depth for Liverpool Football Club when it comes to a goalkeeper. Like Kelleher was the best player on the pitch against Manchester United. Sensational. The save from Mount, the save from Rashford, the save from Casemiro. Absolutely unreal. So the question will be, how happy is he to sit on the bench? Because however good Kelleher is, he isn't as good as Alisson. But if Slot can keep him happy, make sure that there is rotation, make sure that there is opportunity, the strength in depth for Liverpool in that position could easily be the best in the league. So I really do think there's a lot of positives for Liverpool this season. Yes, 
there probably needs to be some activity in the transfer market and I believe that that will come. But even if it doesn't, Liverpool are looking like a threat. And it was often put forward that Arnie Slot was taking the job at a terrible time. Nobody wants to follow in the footsteps of Jurgen Klopp. Is it the David Moyes taking over from Sir Alex Ferguson? On everything that we've seen, on everything that we know about Arnie Slot, on the record of Slot, and on this pre-season tour, what we have seen from Slot so far suggests that he is totally capable of following in the footsteps of the great man. So there we have it. They're my thoughts on Liverpool Football Club ahead of this season. Please do me a favour. Please click subscribe. If you've enjoyed this video, please give it a like. And I look forward to seeing you all in a bit. Hope you're having a wonderful day. Ta-da.